Leveling weapons in New World is all pretty much exactly the same, really. You just find a big group of mobs and kill them as quickly as you can to get experience. However, for Musket, it's kind of different because it's, unless you're using grenade, it's a single target weapon, which means that you don't want to get a giant cluster of people and then have them wail on you forever and not be able to attack. There's quite a few videos which talk about the most efficient way to level Musket. However, some of them have been nerfed, like the Far Side Township in Monarch's Bluff, and others require you to have a huge amount of prep, like having three houses with heaps of trophies and doing a huge amount of damage to the mobs, which is more difficult than it needs to be, I think. I've done some extensive testing myself because I wanted to find the easiest way to level a musket, and this is what I've come up with. Some things to bear in mind is basically you want to be killing as high a level mob as you can in one shot to get as much experience as you possibly can. If it takes you more than one shot or you're way over killing the mob, then you're being uh, inefficient. If you find, especially corrupted mobs, thrust damage, which is what the musket does, does extra damage to them. So we basically want to be prioritizing finding mobs that are weak to thrust damage. I focused on corrupted because there's lots of groups of them around. So this point is the one that I found to be the most efficient. It is up here in Great Cleave. We will travel to the Tempest Valley Shrine and then run south to Sunderfort. Why this area uh, as opposed to any other? Well, like I say, you can kill the mobs in one hit, or at least I could, can. They respawn quicker than you can kill them all. You can kill them all from a high vantage point, which means it's a lot easier to get your shots on them. None of the mobs stagger, which is incredibly frustrating. You can get quite a bit of distance on the mobs so that your headshots are going to be doing more damage as you unlock the musket tree, and it's relatively unpopulated. I'll show you the route that I run, but uh, as you spend more time here, you'll start to understand uh, where the mobs are gonna spawn and when they're going to spawn and the angles that you need to get on them. You'll see perhaps in the video uh, gameplay footage uh, as we go through this that I change my spots sometimes and go to suboptimal spots. That's mostly just because I was getting bored and I wanted to try some different angles because my aim still needs some work and so I thought I'll try and make it a bit more difficult rather than having the exact same angles all the time. You do you, boo. So, what does my gear look like? Let's just quickly run through it. It's not amazing. I bought it all off the auction house. Most of it was about one to 2,000 coins per piece. Uh, I spent a little bit more on making sure that I had a really optimal piece with empowering shooter stance, but I didn't go over the top on anything yet. I want to make sure that I enjoy musket gameplay before I spend a fortune on it. Things that are important to have are uh, a cheap honing stone, whatever the one that fits in your price bracket is. I was buying, I think, the tier three honing stones, which work out to be about six coins a piece. And then I was getting the most expensive corrupted coatings, which are infused corrupted coatings. They're only about eight gold, uh, eight coins a piece on my server. So for an hour's worth, of uh, doing 15% extra damage that was easily worth it to me but if you want to save a bit of coin then get a bit less most of the time in an effort to get you to subscribe I do some crazy gimmick or something ridiculous but today I just wanted to take you uh, behind the scenes in an effort to try and convey to you why I often ask so much for people to subscribe you can see here that YouTube analytics tells me that of the people that watch 86.7% are not subscribed of the 13.3% that are subscribed only 10.6 of them have hit the notification bell which is at the very bottom end of the typical YouTube performance. I have 24,000 returning viewers over whatever time period this is, which means people that have watched at least one video and then come back to watch one or multiple more. YouTube expects that I would be able to make a number of those returning viewers subscribers, and I am falling short of the mark at the moment. So I'm making this more detailed, uh, less hilarious plea to uh, try and convince you, if you are one of those 24,000 returning viewers, to please consider hitting the subscription button. And then if you're really into the content, then hit the bell. If you're one of those people that are here for the second or morph time, then uh, you would really be doing me a massive favour and I'll be able to go back to doing stupid, hey, subscribe or I'll grow my hair for a month kind of uh, please in the middle of videos rather than having to do these more serious ones. So if you have subscribed or you would consider it, then thank you very much. If you're watching this before you've bought your musket, it might make sense to get Corrupted Bane on your musket, which does increase damage to Corrupted if you can get one nice and cheap because you'll just do free extra damage there. I just pulled a random six minute segment out of my time spent leveling the musket at this location and I'll tally up my experience as we go along or when we get to the end and we can figure out our experience per hour. Now obviously it's not going to be as high as a lot of those places where we're killing a huge amount of AoE mobs but that's because the musket doesn't really have that option. Using the grenade as an ability to multi-target a heap of mobs and then kill them with another weapon is really inefficient in my experience because number one the grenade doesn't give you as much musket experience as getting a raw uh, kill with a headshot or whatever with a bullet or cartridge does and number 
number two that you're then splitting your weapon experience with another weapon on top of that so you're getting really reduced uh, experience so even if you want to be leveling two weapons at once i personally don't think it's worthwhile using the grenade it's also finicky and annoying and a lot of the places where you're going to be doing the aoe grinding is going to require you to get staggered a lot which is also frustrating plus the benefit here is that you'll be increasing or improving your aim as time goes on which is awesome at least for me because i really needed it just run around to the top platforms up here and wherever you can you'll see that i don't do it often enough but wherever you can then use shooter's stance because it's going to reduce your time in between bullets and you're doing more damage so that if you can get down in that shooter's stance and plink off some headshots you're going to get five quick kills faster than you can ordinarily which means faster experience which means more leveling you can of course use this spot for other weapons including uh, more single target ones like especially the bow uh, i want to say ice gauntlet but i have a feeling that corrupted is strong against ice i'll check that for my build i have been using 300 dex 150 int although i have to use food to get over that 150 break point for uh, intellect and corrupted are uh, weak against nature and arcane so if you want to put a gem in your musket to convert some of your damage to arcane that's what i've done using a i think it's a sapphire gem which means i'm doing even more damage against them if you need some food to get over that 150 breakpoint for intellect you're going to get an extra 15 percent damage in your elemental attacks which means that the 50 percent of your weapon damage that's been converted to arcane is going to do more like well 15 percent of 50 7.5 percent of 100 more ha <sighs> I don't know, I can't do maths. I was here for like, I don't know, an hour, an hour and a half, and I just chose a random six minute section to tally up the mob count in that time I killed 75 mobs. Although for a bit of that time, well, number one, I suck with aiming. Number two, there was a couple of other people there. So I reckon you could probably get more like 80 to 85. In any case, 75 mobs times 52 experience each. And then you times that by 10 for an hour and you wind up with 39,000 experience per hour. Now, as I say, it's not obviously going to sound that fantastic because there's AOE grinding that you can do. It's going to give you, you know, with a fire staff, you'll get 90,000 weapon XP. However, single target, this is the best I've been able to find uh, that doesn't involve having to go and spend a heap of money on houses or trophies if you don't have them. Yeah, it's easy to do. It's uncontested, really enjoyable. All that you need to do is get gear with dex on it. Uh, if you want to go the 300, 150 build, then you go dex and int and then you put a gem in to convert some of your damage to uh, either arcane or fire ancient corrupted coating honing stone and then food if you need it to get over the break even point like i do just get the cheapest food that you possibly can to get you over the line on my server you know there's food that's like two two coins 50 or something like that uh, and then you just pling away at the mobs very easy it's quite fun i was having a, a hell of a time there i reckon i got from uh, 19 to 20 in about 35 minutes of grinding it out it felt like just having a fun time chilling out uh talking on discord and uh, headshotting mobs. It was, I actually had a really fun time. So now I hope to be able to make a video showing the build uh, and how it performs in PvP at some point in the future. Uh, but for those of you who are like me and couldn't find a decent musket leveling guide uh, that was updated and that didn't require a whole heap of money or time investment, then hopefully this helps you out. As I say, you can build it around uh, a bit around what suits you by going onto one of the maps and just checking the areas and finding maybe going up a couple levels if your gear's a bit better, down a couple levels if your gear's a bit worse. Uh, and looking for those mobs that are weak to thrust damage. Also use this for bow, ice gauntlet if you really want to, but don't be going corrupted for mobs that are weak to ice damage. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment on the video down below if you like this location, if you knew about it, or if you think you know somewhere better. Join the Discord, subscribe if you would like to, and hit the bell notification to know when a new video goes up or to know when I go live as I stream on YouTube. Thank you very much for getting to the end of the video. I'm sorry for my nasally voice. This is like week two of sickness now. I love you, thank you, and remember,